Development of the laser has not stopped yet. In fact, it is still very much in its infancy. The speed of development is comparable to that of the computer. Scientists all over the world are continually making lasers even smaller and more efficient, and of course, more cost-effective as well. It is now clear that lasers will be entering many more areas of everyday life, and they are becoming easier to handle all the time. The speed of innovation is breathtaking. Nowadays, the latest generation of lasers, so-called high-power diode lasers, are not much bigger than a matchbox, but they deliver the same power of several kilowatts as the first lasers used in material processing which once filled up entire rooms. Much has changed since the first laser was presented to the public in 1960, but most of it still rests on the work done by Einstein, Townes, and Maimann. People's fascination for the instrument and for light as a tool is unbroken, and the laser still has a long future ahead of it. In a few seconds, the beam of light will have reached the Earth, a ray of light carrying particles known as photons. The 20th century was characterized by the electron, from electricity all the way to electronics. The 21st century will be the century of the photon, and the laser is the key to this far-reaching development.